Hello and welcome to Fair or Foul. I'm Brad Fair. In this episode we will go over the basics of making a strike or ball call. What should it look like? What should be said? And how loud do I need to say it? We will answer those questions right now. Having a good strike call can get you more respect as an official. Having a confident mechanic goes a long way in showing you are comfortable with being behind the plate. So what should a good strike call look like? A few common mechanic styles is 1. Creating a fist and making a motion as if you are knocking on a door. This mechanic should be done nice and high up in front of you so everyone in the park can see it. Another strike call option is a point to the side. You can choose to say strike or strike 1 or strike 2, whatever you prefer when calling a strike. strike. For strike 3, you, you may choose to use a creative strike call mechanic while articulating strike 3 so strike. everyone knows your call. Another thing to think about when calling strikes is if it is a st swinging strike, no vocal call is necessary. You just need to stand up in your stance and make a routine strike mechanic. What about a ball? For a ball, stay down in your set position and make the call. Since your strike call requires you to stand up, you want your ball call to look different. Again, you have the option of saying ball or ball one, two, three, four. Ball four is a good one to say regardless because it indicates a walk is being issued. You do not need to say take your base. You can still stand up between pitches and stretch your knees before the next pitch. But make sure you have first made the call. Additionally, when calling balls and strikes, you will want to take your time. Don't feel rushed. You can take a second to think about what you saw before you make the call. How loud should your calls be? For volume, you want a called strike to be loud. A ball that is close to the zone can be articulated louder than the wild pitch that everyone knows was a ball. This has been Fair or Foul. Be sure to check the description below for the link to our Determining the Strike Zone tutorial. If you have any feedback or umpire topic suggestions, please drop them in the comments section. I'm Brad Fair. Thanks for watching.